Are you up to a challenge? Have you got what it takes? Snails? Can you accept a dare? Today, we're getting into foods that make you squirm. Or that squirm by themselves. We've all got that one thing that makes our skin crawl. We can do it. Come on and check it out. If you dare. Stay on Fun Food Frenzy. We're having a feared food party. And you're invited. <laughs> Today on Fun Food Frenzy, we're having a feared food party. But it's more than just a party. It's a game. So come on down. A game? Oh, what kind of game? I, I love games. I know you do, Dad. So get ready to play the Feared Food Challenge. Feared Food Challenge? You heard it right the first time. The Feared Food Challenge. Contestants will be able to try some of the most feared foods of all time. Foods with attitude. Foods with a bad reputation. Like what? Like Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts? Delicious. Like extreme escargot. Snails? I love snails! Like stinky cheese on crackers. Stinky cheese? Extra stinky, please. Like super spinach salad. Wait a second. Did, 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 did you say spinach? Yeah. No, no way. No how am I eating spinach. Nope. But Dad, it's good for you. <laughs> yeah. How does he know if he won't even try it? Oh, no, no. Believe me, I know. I do not like spinach. Mm. I guarantee by the end of the feared food challenge, you like spinach. Never. No, no. Stinky cheese, great. Snails, mmm, yum. Brussels sprouts, oh, I love them. But spinach, never. Wow, look at all this spinach. It's so thick and green. Oh, wow, and the leaves are crinkly. Hey, Grumbler! Do you want some spinach? <laughs> wow! He loves it! Good thing! Spinach is an excellent source of vitamins and minerals. It's low in calories and rich in iron. Wow! I'd say he's feeling more lively already. No. Dad, you should really try some. No, never. Oh, get away from me. Oh, chill out, Dad. There's lots of other things to prepare besides spinach. Extreme escargot, for example. Snails? No problemo. We'll start by making the garlic butter, or as I like to call it, secret snail sauce. I take butter in a bowl and cream it with shallots, shallots, garlic, mm, dash of pepper, and a dash of nutmeg. Just okay. a dash. Mm. That's good. Yeah. Oh, a little more. Good. And the chopped parsley. Parsley. Mm. 
Oh, you don't know. Oh, you don't know until you try. Hey, uh, Jesse, do you know what's green and sings? What? Elvis Parsley. There. Now that the secret snail sauce is ready, can you say this fast? She puts secret snail sauce in a snail shell. All right. She puts secret snail sauce in a snail shell. That's good. She puts secret snail sauce in a snail shell. I can't say it that fast. She puts secret snail sauce in a snail shell. Okay, 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 okay. So we're moving on. And there we go. That's ready. So now you just take a shell, right. grab one as well. Okay, got one. Put in some of the garlic butter. That. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. Uh huh? Okay. Pop in an escargot. There's one. And sprinkle it with a bit of breadcrumbs. Yeah, breadcrumbs. Huh? Ah. They go down in the special dish. And when they're done, you cook them in the oven for eight minutes. Let's finish up. Okay. I'm ahead of you. No, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. And presto, we have escargot. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. Hey, Jesse. Do hmm? you know why the snail painted an S on her snail mobile? Why? Well, she wanted to know how fast the S car goes. Get it? S car go. Mm. Ready to try one? Mm. Mm. But, but it's a snail. Mm. Ooh. Pry it out like that. Well. There you go. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Good, hmm? Well, it's. It's. Good. Yeah, it's kind of rubbery, you know. but good. Not bad, huh? It's meat. Eat it. Right, the whole thing. Pop it in. The whole thing. You did it! <laughs> Snails? That's nothing. Would you dare to eat insects? Well, two-thirds of the world's people do eat bugs. In fact, there are over 1,000 insect species you can eat. Ants and grasshoppers are among the most popular. Insects are very nutritious. They are low in fat and cholesterol and are a much better source of protein than chicken or beef. There's no shortage either. Bug experts estimate that there are one billion bugs for every person on the Earth. That's good. Hungry yet? Well, entomophagists say that bugs taste great. Try this cricket omelet, for example. Dessert? Well, chocolate-covered crickets, of course. Am I bugging you? <laughs> Now we're ready to make our second feared food. Brussels sprouts. I washed them already. Great. I'll just steam them on the stove. Heat on. Oh, remember, you always have to have a parent's permission to be cooking in the kitchen. Right. And never try new food unless an adult says it's okay. You could be allergic. Brussels sprouts should be cooked until they're tender, but not mushy. And you can season them however you like. A little butter, a little salt and pepper. Uh -huh. Salt. Good. And, oh, maybe a little lemon. A little lemon? Uh, I'll squeeze that. Should I? Sure. Not too much. Okay. Mm -hmm. And... Ready to try? I guess so. Delicious. Mm. 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 That's really good. These birds will go to any depths to eat raw fish. Would you? 
Sushi is a Japanese food in which rice is mixed with other ingredients like vegetables, seafood, and oh yes, sometimes raw fish. The Japanese have been making sushi for hundreds of years. It's considered an art form and a delicacy all over the world. It takes chefs years to learn how to make perfect sushi. At a sushi bar, you can sit and watch as the chef rolls sushi right in front of your eyes. You can choose from ingredients like tuna, octopus, or even eel. Sushi is good for you, too. It's very low in fat, and there's lots of protein in the fish. Raw fish is a dish that you don't want to miss. Next up is a stinky cheese. Woo, that sure is stinky. Yeah. This is Oka, and this is Gorgonzola. Look there. Hey, it's blue. That's right. Gorgonzola is a blue vein cheese. It's been around since Roman times. Gorgonzola, hmm. Why do they call it Gorgonzola? Oh, that's the name of the little town in northern Italy where it was first made. And I guess they like their cheeses tangy and strong. <laughs> Gorgonzola is really easy to spread, so it's a great snack on crackers. Mm. Perfect snack. If you want to be alone. <laughs> you ain't smelled nothing yet. <laughs> Isn't it funny how you don't want to taste something just because it's stinky? Now, our sense of taste and our sense of smell are closely related, but they're not exactly the same thing. For one, you smell with your nose, and you taste with your thumb. Now, the faith, different faith, different part of our thumb. The... Oh, <laughs> that'll work better. As I was saying, we taste different tastes with different parts of our tongue. We taste sweet, like sugar. On the very tip of our tongue. We taste salty, like salt. Mm. On the side of the tongue, very close to the tip. We taste sour, like lemon. Ooh. Yeah, sour. Mm. Farther back, along the sides of the tongue. And we taste bitter, like bitter chocolate, the unsweetened kind you use in cooking. right at the back of the tongue. Now, sweet, salty, sour, and bitter. In some combination, are the only tastes we have. Other variations of taste come from your sense of smell. Now, taste is actually very dependent on smell. That's why, when you have a cold and your nose is blocked, Food is not so tasty. And when you eat, the food in your mouth releases odor molecules, which travel up the pathway connecting your mouth to your nose, and it's this combination of taste and smell which gives each food its specific flavor. Now, here's a simple way you can test this idea at home. Take a bite of a nice red apple. Mm. Apple, it's good. Now, take a sniff of some vanilla extract. Definitely vanilla. Then, take another bite of the apple. Weird. The apple tastes like vanilla. See, this is one example where your nose and your sense of smell have overpowered your tongue and your sense of taste. Hey, did you know that babies have a much keener sense of taste than adults? It's true. That's why babies don't like stuff that tastes really strong, like olives or pickles or mustard. But. As we get older, our taste buds get dulled, and we start to enjoy stronger tastes. Well, it does have chocolate in it. Yeah. Jess, it seems like only yesterday you were a little baby. Dad, have those cheese seams gone to your head? Over the years, I've watched you grow, and well, I didn't think this day would come, but it has. It's time. It's time for what? To face the <laughs> mighty Limburger, the stinkiest cheese of all. Oh, it smells like your gym socks. 
Hey, hey you're right. Mmm. Try some? Oh, wait, it's so smelly. Smelly. Jesse, I think you're old enough for a little stinky cheese. Besides, this is one time that taste and smell are not the same thing. I sure hope not. You want to be the feared food challenge host? I dare ya. Okay. Well? It's good. That's right. That's my girl. Mm. Limburger is actually a very mild tasting cheese. Mm. I didn't know until I tried. Well, you never know until you try. Are you sure about that, Dad? Absolutely. I'm glad you think so, because the only thing left to do is... is... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yes. Super spinach salad. I'm out of here. Dad, you can't leave. Why not? Well, I need some help. Okay, but I'm not going to eat it. Oh, all right, all right. Jeepers, what a baby. Anyway... It's very easy. You just wash the spinach and dry it in a salad spinner. Or you can dry it with a towel. Then you peel an orange. Dad, can you cut these up for me, please? Oh, uh, sure. Just to be safe. Did you say safe? Safety alert. Safety alert. We have a safety alert in progress. All viewers, be advised. Only adults can use sharp knives. To finish the salad, add the orange pieces and a light vinaigrette and toss. Oh, mm. yuck, you ate it! Yeah, and so are you. Ah, no, 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 What a baby. Ready for the party. Wait, I need a pointer. Well, Jess, I'm working on one right now. Great. I'll go get ready for the party. See ya. It's really easy to make a game show pointer. All you have to do is cut a big circle out of a piece of construction paper and draw with a felt pen another circle and make it into pie shapes. This, this, and you need to cut an arrow like this out of another piece of construction paper. Then, poke a hole in the center of the circle, use a screwdriver or something else, just like that. And I've already poked one in the arrow. Take a fastener, poke it through the arrow, through something to use as a spacer. I'm using a nut. Through the hole in the circle. And separate the two sides of the fastener. And voila! And you can finish it by decorating it with things around the outside. I used a bunch of empty shells. And here is the final product. It's just a vegetable. It's just a vegetable. I, I can do this. I can do it. Dad? Dad, are you okay? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, no. It's messy in here. We need to clean up. Oh, great. Yeah, it's cleanup time. What a drag. You wash, I'll dry. Okay. This is hard work. Wow, super clean. I guess it wasn't so bad. <laughs> Welcome to our feared food challenge. Today, 
you will have the opportunity to try some of the world's most feared foods. If you dare. <laughs> Who will be our first contestant? Dad, can you spin the wheel, please? Okay. Guess what? It's you. I dare you. Uh, yeah. I double dare you. Yes. I triple dare you. Yes. To eat this super spinach salad. It's a uh, salady. It's a uh, spinachy. It's well. It's super. I I like it. He likes it. Mm. Now <laughs> you don't have to wait for your turn. Dig in. I dare you, John and Escargo. Go? You sure? Mm, that's good. Here's a brave contestant. Can you out like that? One, two, three. Go. You did well. You gonna have an escort go? You sure?